Hey there, welcome back to True North Reviews. My name is Ryan, and today we're talking about the new album from Ariana Grande, Thank You, Next. Not even a full year after releasing Sweetener, her fourth studio album, Ariana, is dropping her fifth, and it shouldn't really come as a surprise given that she has some familiarity with quick turnaround album cycles. She had 11 months between her debut and sophomore releases, and she's limited herself to six months between Sweetener and Thank You, Next. And really, that was my biggest concern coming into this new album. I was on the fence with Sweetener. I thought a lot of its strengths came from the singles, but there wasn't really much left over in terms of deep cuts to make it feel like it was a cohesive or all-around kind of project. But here on Thank You Next, I feel like we're actually getting a stronger focus on a crisp and glossy sound, notably with the production. We don't have to deal with Pharrell this time round, as I feel like his style clashed with Ariana on the previous project a lot. However, many of the same Swedish songwriters and producers are making their return here, including Max Martin. They kind of tighten up some loose ends, they make some of the deep cuts a bit more relatable in the lyrical department, which is something I will talk about a bit later. Just altogether, I feel like Thank You Next is the album I was anticipating with sweetener and I guess it's better to get it late than never. As a rollout for this new album, Ariana essentially broke the internet with her hit single Thank You Next, a song that to this day I feel like is very overplayed but I can still see the catchy qualities to it including the personal and heartfelt songwriting and the empowering message behind it too. To which then Ariana followed up this song with Imagine, a beautiful showcasing of her vocal range and talent. Uh, she really has grown up with a gorgeous voice hasn't lost her edge on this project, and if anything, I feel like she's getting more powerful with age. And then I feel like Ariana thwarted all of this hype that she had going into this new album with her single Seven Rings. An absolute horrendous mess, uh, lyrically, vocally, musically, um, and anything that she had going for it just uh, feels like she kind of stole from other artists and is just boasting for the sake of boasting. Regardless, many fans will defend her for being satirical or funny, whatever kind of argument they're going to come up with, I just don't enjoy the song. However, circling back to my argument about this project feeling like a more well-rounded kind of musical expression. The deep cuts here see many highlights, including the song Ghostin. Lyrically, the most ambitious and genuine that I've heard Ariana in her entire career uh, brings a smile to my face just to see her grow and mature out of her teenage love kind of way. It's not that I didn't enjoy her old sound, I just feel like it's a nice progression for her. Elsewhere, this album makes use of stripped back instrumentation on another track called Needy, something that had me rolling my eyes at first when I saw the track listing, but Ariana pulls off a charismatic and self-aware call for unhealthy love. And although there's no powerful single in my mind that makes this album stand out for any kind of casual fan. Bad Idea is a song that sticks out as a grand and spectacular experience that sees a lot of incredible vocal harmonies reminding me of older Ariana mixed with some influence from Sia. All topped off with an expanded string section and trap beat at the tail end of the song which kind of project themselves as one of the main highlights for this record. The highlights keep on coming with the track in my head, definitely one that takes the self-love narrative to its intellectual peak. Ariana references the Bible here, drawing many comparisons to how her mind is being tricked to see her lover simultaneously as a devil and an angel. It's a fragile state of mind for her to be in, and I feel like the reverberating trap beat actually suits her, unlike it does on Seven Rings. Now to talk about the closing track on this project, it's called Break Up With Your Girlfriend, I'm Bored. It's a bit of a weird listen, um, but if you can block out the, the unnecessary swearing, I feel like there's an enjoyable song to be found here, which is solely made by the beat, I think, in my opinion. Now, even with all of those compliments, Thank You Next definitely still has its sore spots. Like I said before, a lot of the singles uh, can't really be compared to God is a Woman or Breathin'. But outside this, the female empowerment themes on this album kind of get on my nerves with the tracks NASA and Makeup. Not because I don't align with what the message is trying to get across with, it's just more how it's coming across with it, with it being very cheesy and gimmicky. NASA's vocal delivery is very redundant and in your face, like it's trying really hard to get stuck in your head. While makeup is a straight up manipulative piece of pop trash that is heavily underwritten in its chorus. The rhyming from Ariana on makeup is also very subpar. She loves her buzzwords, look, hella fine, attitude, but when she could have made this topic interesting, she just chose to throw all of these into a word salad that 
doesn't really make much sense outside of building up her self-confidence. It's just one of those moments where you're scratching your head thinking that Ariana tried too hard to make this verse come off as witty when in actuality it's pretty surface level what she's saying here. Now to discuss the last couple songs I haven't mentioned yet, Bloodline and Fake Smile, the former feeling like it's been done before, not that it's bad in any way. Again, the production is very crisp and clean, but the vocal deliveries in the pre-chorus come off as irritating like I'm listening to a bad Megan Trainer cover. And finally with Fake Smile, Ariana's vocals soar here, she's definitely the, the focus. Um, everything's great, there's a lot of building energy, and then she just loses me with the, the diva lyrics and the bridge. Don't get me wrong, Ariana Grande can say whatever she wants, just like I can say what I want, because we all have freedom of speech. It's just that this bridge doesn't sit well with me. So overall, Thank You Next is a step up from Sweetener. It's more cohesive from its production to its lyrics with the minor blips along the way, which uh, for the most part are tolerable at least. The singles aren't as strong as they are on Sweetener, but there are a few deep cuts that kind of put themselves up there with some of Ariana's best music to date. These include Needy, Bad Idea, Ghostin, my favorite on this project so far is Ghostin. Altogether, the low points on Thank You Next are less noticeable compared to Sweetener, and for that reason, along with my stronger opinion, I can say that this new project from Ariana Grande is pretty enjoyable with some decent replay factor to it too. So with that all being said, I'm feeling a 7 out of 10. Now tell me what you're thinking of Thank You Next. Sound off down below in the comments, leave a like, subscribe if you're new in town, check out the links in the description for my other social media, and as always, have a rockin' day.